The COVID-19 pandemic has affected Kenya's food systems directly through impacts on food supply and demand and indirectly through decreased capacity to produce and distribute food. In response to that, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives is addressing food supply chain and nutrition challenges through the establishment of one million kitchen gardens in rural and urban households. Through these one million kitchen gardens, the ministry is contributing to the Big Four agenda on the 100% food and nutrition security by enabling households to maintain a healthy diet. The ministry is supporting vulnerable households with kitchen garden starter kits that are simple, space and water efficient. So far, the first phase of the project has supported over 200,000 households through the KSAP, NARIC and CVAP projects. In phase two, the ministry will support an additional 200,000 vulnerable households in setting up their own kitchen gardens. So we are here today at uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Kilimo House, uh, we, where we have the model uh, kitchen garden uh, demonstration site, where we set up all the technologies that uh, all households are able to adapt to, to be able to give them not only knowledge, but also be able to you know, give them the instructions, you know, step-by-step -step guidance on how to set up these gardens. There are several incredible ideas through which one can establish a simple, space and water efficient kitchen garden using locally available materials. They include the corn garden, the multi-story garden, the micro garden, tire garden, moist bed garden, the weak irrigation garden, and the simple drip irrigation garden. In this video, we will look at the weak irrigation technology that is suitable for pastoralists and schools. This technology uses minimal water since the crop is irrigated using a weak material that soaks up water. This technology is ideal for wall spaces on ladders and erected stands. To construct a weak garden, you will need 5 liter jerry cans that are opaque or dark colored in order to reduce weed growth and increase heat retention in the soil, a weak material that can be made of an old piece of blanket or towel, cutting tools, nails, soil mixed with manure on a ratio of 1 to 1, seedlings and water. To start off, this is our material. We need a tape measure. We are going to measure two centimeters wide and 30 centimeters long. Two centimeters is up to here. Then we again measure 30 centimeters, which is up to here. So you'll hold for me so that I cut and we test. Our weak material, two centimeters wide and 30 centimeters long. And we have the two containers to test if our material will be able to take up water. So to do that, you dip half of it into the, material, into the water and wait for five minutes to see if it will drip the water. We have already seen that our weak material is able to transport water to the plant. So we have the five liter jerry can that we are going to use for planting. And uh, we will cut the bottom part inside about three centimeters. Now we 
have the two containers. This is where we are going to fill in the soil. And this is where we'll put our water. But we have to use the top and make a hole through it. When making a hole, you can use a sharp knife, or if you have a drill, you will use a drill. To make a hole where the wick will be fitted through. So you can see I've already done the hole. Now I take my wick material and pass it through that hole. Pull it through halfway. Then the next step, you take the five litre bottle and pass through that wick and tighten the top. You make sure you balance, you balance it halfway such that 15 centimetres will go into the water and 15 centimetres will go into the soil where you are going to do your planting. So this is basically going to be our shamba. We'll fill in manure mixed with soil at a ratio of one to one. So this is going to be our watering point, the source of water, and this is going to be our shamba. Now we need to fix both our water, watering point, and our shamba or the garden onto a ladder. And to construct this ladder, you also need to use readily available materials. You can use recycled materials like pallets, timber from pallets, or if you are in a homestead where you have uh, grown trees, you can cut down your trees and make the structure where you are going to fix your irrigation system. Now when you are done with preparing the container and the irrigation point, then you come and fix them on the ladder that you have already constructed, like this particular one. You may not have materials for a ladder, but you have a wall. So you can use timber of one inch by two inches, you fix against the wall, across, and then some timber running down the wall. Then you come and fix your garden plus the irrigation container. So the space between one and the next is 15 centimeters. And when you are fixing before you put the soil, you make sure that your wick is at an angle of 45 degrees. You hold around 45 degrees as you put the soil. Then when it, when it reaches halfway the container, you drop it on top of the soil and fill with the soil mixed with manure at ratio of one to one. That ensures that the roots of the vegetables all will be reached with the water. So now it's halfway and my wick was at an angle of 45 degrees and now I want to put it to lay over the soil and fill up. Once you have filled nicely, you water, making sure your soil is damp enough. Then because it's the first time the soil is dry, you also make sure you water the soil before 
planting. Then now, your shamba is ready for planting. And normally, this kind of technology, the, veget the preferred vegetables are vegetables that do not grow very tall. If you have to put the ones that grow tall, they need not to have deep roots. And for today, our choice of vegetable, we are going to plant lettuce. That is what we are going to plant. You come and make a hole at the center. You press nicely, making sure you plant at the level where the seedling was in the nursery. Lettuce does not have deep roots and matures very fast, so it's a very good choice of vegetable for this technology. In 30 to 40 days, we'll be harvesting our lettuce. Our appeal to the viewers that may be watching this is, you know, see something and implement. This is how we collectively contribute to food and nutrition security when each and every household is able to produce safe food within the confines of their homes. From this tutorial, it is our hope that you will be able to establish your own kitchen garden and enjoy a constant supply of fresh, nutritious vegetables, fruits and spices for you and your family. In case you need more information, kindly log on to www.kilimo.go.ke.